few more deep breaths here. Just taking the time to quiet the mind, quiet the body. And then all together, inhale, let's bring our hands to heart center, sharing the front of it three times. Take a breath in. Oh. Straighten the knees or kick the back for the first couple times. Maybe you want to lift the head up and down or turn it to the side, right and left. Nice and slow movements. If you have straight your knees, go ahead and bend them down quite a lot so you can just rest your torso on your <clears throat> thighs. Let the head, let the head drop, let the hands drop to the floor. Hold here. Curling up, let's bring our hands to the top of our thighs. Keep the head tucked. And then as you inhale, curl up, start at the bottom, thighs, pelvis, lower back, waist, middle chest, upper chest, shoulders, and release the chin to neutral position. Let's repeat, open up the hands, inhale, arms up, at the top, hands together, look at your hands, bend knees, exhale, swan back down. As you reach the bottom, reach forward, really bringing those Hips over the heels and hold here throughout the head. Feel that nice alignment of hips <clears throat> over heels. Again, if it feels good, you can have movement here of your head and neck.
And then bend the knees deeply and just rest the torso on your thighs. Keep tucking the chin, rounding the shoulders. Don't forget to lift the arch and start a rotation of knees and hips as we come up. That's to protect that alignment. Let's bring the hands to the thighs, tuck the chin. Inhale, roll up, starting from the bottom. And as you reach the top, that's when you shrug the shoulders back and the head comes to you. <clears throat> Open up the hands, inhale, arms up. Stay here at the top, hands together. Exhale, release the shoulders down. Bring the head to neutral position. Just really think about those shoulder blades. Getting ready for a back bend. You view your foundation. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, only the arms come behind you. Drop the shoulders once more. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, first back bend of the day, nice and gentle. Hold here, keep extending up. Let's hold here for four, <clears throat> three, two, and one. Inhale, come to center. Bend the knees, exhale, slide back down. At the bottom, reach forward. Straighten the knees if it feels good. Hold here for four. Three, two, and one. Bend the knees deeply, resting the tor torso on the thighs, drop the head. Short count, two, one. Coming into chair, lift the head, lengthen the back. Now we're engaging <clears throat> through the core, roll the shoulders up and back. And now inhale, extend the arms in front of you. Stay right here. Let's see if our torso is nice and parallel to the mat. Head is in between the shoulders. In this position, inhale right into chair. Settle down into your chair. Gaze is neutral. Really do the best job you can today of opening up those armpits and dropping the shoulder blades. Even if your arms are in scarecrow pose, instead of extended, that's fine. Both here, four, three, two, one, inhale, rise up, and bend knees, exhale, swan back down. Reach in front, hold here, four, three, two, one, once more, bend the knees, deeply resting on your thighs. Chair pose, lift the head, engage the core muscles. Inhale, extend arms in front of you, hold here, find this position, and then inhale up to chair. Hold. Four. Three, two, one, inhale, rise up. And exhale, release. Sun salutation, inhale, up. Looking at the hands, and then exhale to your heart. One breath, back bend. Inhale, extend arms, and then all the way to back bend. Exhale, bend knees, forward fold. Nice and slow. Inhale, step the right foot back all the way to a lunge, right knee down. Go through the lunge. Let's hold here for four. Three. Two. And one. 
As you exhale, come into downward facing dog. Let's hold here for four, three, two, and one. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. And then inhale up to cobra. Let's hold the cobra for eight counts. Give ourselves time to really adjust the pose. Feel the change in breath for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Inhale to plank and then exhale, downward facing dog. Holding for a longer count. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Looking at your hands, inhale, step the right foot forward. We need to a nice lunge here. Let's hold. Move to that nice open to the left side. Holding here for four, three. Two and one. Inhale, step forward and exhale to forward fold. Hold forward fold. Let's hold here for four, three, two, and one. Coming up safely, protect that lower back, bend the knees, lift the head. And then inhale, swan dive all the way up, right into a back bend. And exhale, return. Let's repeat the left side, inhale up. Let the top hands together, exhale to your heart. One breath, inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step the left foot back for lunge. Left knee down, shine the heart. Hold here. Four, three, two, and one. As you exhale, downward facing draw. Hold here. Keep pushing through the shoulders, drop the head. Four, three, Two and one. Exhale, chest chin. Inhale, cobra. Hold here. Shorter count this side. Four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, plank, and exhale, downward facing dog. Let's hold here for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, 
And one, looking at your hands, inhale, step the left foot forward into your lunge. Hold here, square the hips, shine the heart. For two, and one, inhale, step forward, and exhale, forward fold. Let's hold here for four. Three, two, and one. Bend your knees. Inhale, swan dive all the way up, right into your back bend. And then exhale, reach it. Inhale up. Hands together at the top, exhale to your heart. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step the right foot back, right knee down, lunge. Fold here, four, three, two, one. Hamstring stretch, take a breath in. Exhale, sit back, hamstring stretch. Let's hold this for a longer count. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, come back to lunch. Let's feel a nice stretch on the right side. So you want to make sure that you feel nice and stable. Because as we inhale, we lift the right heel towards the buttocks. Now if you can, you can grab it with one of your hands and bring it a little closer. Hold here. Four. Three. Two, and one, gently release it back down. Hands are back on the other side of the left foot. Take your breath in, and as you exhale, step back into downward facing dog. Let's hold this. Four, three, two, and one. Exhale, downward facing. I mean, you know, knees just in. And then inhale, cobra. Let's hold our cobra, switch the breath. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale, plank. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Shorter count. Four. Three, two, and one. Let's look at our hands. Inhale, step the right foot forward into your lunge. Inhale, step the left foot forward. Exhale, forward fold. Bend knees. Inhale, rise up. Back bend. And exhale, return. Release the hands down and then inhale up. At the top, hands together. And exhale to your heart. <clears throat> inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step the left foot back. Hold here, shine hard. Four. Three, two, and one. Hamstring stretch. Take a breath in. Then exhale. Sit back. Hamstring stretch. Let's hold here nice and quiet. Deep breaths. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, come back to your lunge. Find a place of stability. As you inhale and bring that left heel towards your buttocks. Hold here. Let's hold it for four. Three. Two. And one, exhale, gently release it down. Bring the hands back to either side of the right foot. And then inhale, step back, and exhale, downward facing dog. Let's hold here for four, three, two, and one. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra, switch the breath, elongate from the hips to the feet for four, three, two, and one. Inhale to plank, and exhale, downward facing dog. Let's hold here. Four. Three. Two. And one. Looking at your hands, then must up the left foot forward. And then inhale, step right foot forward. And exhale into your forward fold. Bend knees, inhale, rise up, back bend. And then exhale, return. Inhale up. Exhale to your heart. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step right foot back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here for one inhale. Exhale, knees just chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here. Four. Three. Two. And one, looking at your hands, inhale, step the right foot forward. Exhale, left foot forward into forward fold. Then knees, inhale, rise up back then. And exhale, return. Left side, inhale up. Exhale to your heart. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step left foot back into lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here for the inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here. Four. Three. Two. And one. Looking at your hands, inhale, step left foot forward. 
Exhale, step right foot forward into forward fold. Bend knees, rise up, back bend. Exhale, return. Release the hands, close the eyes. Soften the breath, soften the knees. Relax the shoulders down. And then exhale, release. Let's come onto our knees. So step back a little bit, middle of your mat, you're on your knees. So let's practice that little more intense uh, hamstring stretch. Shift your weight left and bring the right foot forward and come into the lunge. You can keep your hands on your thigh. So here I'm opening up to the left side. Now when I bring that left heel towards my buttocks, it's a little less intense if, see where my right hip is? It's in front of my left knee right now. I mean, left hip, right? If I step back a little bit. So come back, and may have to adjust your right leg. Now, lift up that left heel. Bring it to the buttocks. And then see where you are on your knee. You still want to keep your hips square. All right? Both here. Four. Three, two, one, exhale, release. All right, if we're feeling a lot of discomfort over the knee, that just means that our muscles, ligaments are still tight uh, going down the leg, or maybe they're even a little bit uneven in terms of um, shortening and lengthening of the muscle. So it just means that every time we do a standing pose, we really have to be aware, lifting the arch and finding that alignment of knee over ankle and knee under hip. Keep doing that every time. Keep working on your foundation and this will even out the muscle lengths and ligaments over your All right, let's bring back the right knee. So we're standing on both knees and switch to the other side. Go ahead, inhale, bring the left knee forward and find this lunge here. So now my right hip is definitely in front of my right knee, but I'm feeling a really nice opening there. And I'm, I'm lengthening through the foundation. Now, remember the top of your foot, of the right foot is still active. It's not just hanging around on the mat, it's still active. Now let's sit back, adjust. Right hip is over the right knee. You need to lean forward a little bit, maybe just to bring your, your heel up, grab it, and then come back. See? Then I'm nice and squared off. Let's hold here. Four. Three. Two, one, exhale, release gently. And then let's bring the right knee back. Exhale, go ahead, sit on your knees in Vajrasana. Hands are on our thighs, roll the shoulders up and back. That is a neutral, close the eyes. And as you exhale, go ahead, open the eyes, move it on, pigeon pose. Stand up on your knees. Go ahead and bring the left foot forward. Hands come to the mat. And then let's see if you can slide that left foot towards the right side of the mat and extend the right leg behind you. Coming into pigeon pose. If you can, fingers and knee 
are in line in your shine in the heart. You can also put blocks underneath you to help with this. Let's hold here. Now, if this is quite challenging, you can also come down to your forearms. I mean, down to your forearms helps you square the hip points towards the mat a little bit. Let's hold here. Four. Three. Two. And one. If you're not already on your forearms, let's come down to our forearms. And if it feels good, stretch the arms in front of you, resting your forehead on the mat. Now again, if this isn't yet in your practice, you can always put a block underneath your head, okay? Or stay on your forearms. Stay here. Four. Three. Two. And one. Let's come back, bring the hands back, and put their mind with the knee, lift the torso up. From here, sit on that left buttocks and just swing your right leg all the way forward. And come into a spinal twist. So take the right foot on the outside of the left knee, sit up straight, find both six bones. Take your left arm, let's hug that right knee towards the chest as best you can. Sit up straight. Right arm extended out to the side, throw the shoulders up and back, turn the right palm up. Inhale the right arm up overhead, settle the shoulders once more. Inhale, grow tall, and exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, grow tall. And exhale, release the right hand behind you. Keep shining the heart. Resist the urge to push with your hands. If you have to, lift them off your legs. And mat, hold here. Core. Three. Two. And one, to come out, take that right palm, open it up, inhale it up behind you. As you exhale, return to center and release your hands. Let's swing that right leg in front of you and then all the way back, coming into pigeon once more. Both here. Four. Three, two, and one. Coming into plank pose, lift up, slide that left foot back, stay here in plank. Four, three, Two, and one. As you inhale, let's bring that right knee forward, bringing it into place for pigeon. And then exhale, extend that left leg behind you. Now for some of you, I know you have really open hips, so your foot is gonna be at a nice 90 degree angle with your right knee. For others like me, my foot, the heel is really close to the body. So make adjustments as you need to. Let's shine the heart, lift the torso up. Really feel a nice lengthening through that hip flexor, opening up the right hip. 
Slow the breath, stay here as quietly as you can for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Exhale, let's come down to our forearms. And then if it feels good, go ahead, extend the arms and rest the head on the mat. Hold here. Let's hold here for four. Three, two, and one. As you inhale, lift the torso, slide the hands back if you can. Fingers and knees in one line. And then sit on the right buttocks. Swing that left leg all the way around in front. And then bend that left knee, bring it on the Outside of your right knee, find your sits bones, sit up straight. If you can, take the right hand and hug that knee towards your chest. Extend the left arm to the sides, roll the shoulders up and back. Open up the left palm, into the left arm up overhead, set on the shoulders once more, grow tall. Inhale, and exhale, find the twist to the left. Inhale once more, straighten the spine, lengthen, and then exhale, release the left hand behind you. Find your twist. Do your best to keep your head in a neutral position so that your chin is in up or down. It's nice and neutral. Over the spine. Resist the urge to push yourself into the twist. It's more important you have a nice open length in torso, twisting at the waist. Hold here. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, And one to come out, open up the left palm, inhale the arm up. As you exhale, return and release the hands. Let's come back into pigeon pose. So take that left leg, scoot it all the way around. Come into your pigeon once more. Hold here. This is a shorter count. Four. Three. Two. And one. Place the hands ready for plank and then inhale, hands right into plank. Hold here. Nice and strong. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, downward facing dog. Drop the head. Let's relax here. Short count of four, three, two, 
And one, as you exhale, before we come down to our knees, shift the shoulders over your elbows or wrists, and then continue the exhale, knees down and into child's pose. Coming out into Madrasa, lift the head, lengthen the back, use your hands as support as you inhale, rise up, bringing your hands on top of your thighs, with the shoulders up and back, head is in neutral, close the eyes. Stay here a few more breaths. And then exhale, release. Okay, I'm going to show you two ways to do a nice supported heart opener. So if you have a block rather than a long cushion, we're simply going to lay down on our spine and put the block somewhere around the uh, draw strap area so that I can easily extend my arms out to the side without the shoulders being impinged in any way and drop the head back. Now, if this is severe on your neck vertebrae, then put a, a cushion underneath your head so that it's not such a, a severe angle, but you still get all the benefits of opening up the upper back. Alrighty, so you have to kind of play with it and figure out what is good for you. If you happen to have a long cushion, you achieve the same benefits by putting the cushion right against your butt, hold on to it as you lean back, and then open the arms, palms up. So in this position, my neck is more neutral, but I'm opening up the heart, just the same as I did um, with the block. Alrighty, so find out what works for you. I think with a block, you can even put a block underneath your shoulder blade, one underneath your head. You look at the computer, this is nice too. That way I'm not compromising my cervical vertebrae anymore, but I'm still getting a nice opening of the heart chakra and the upper chest. All right, so once you're in there, please close your eyes and just enjoy. Remember, if it's uncomfortable, that means we need to adjust your prop. You can also bend your knees. They don't, your legs don't have to be extended straight out. Let's stay here. Holding this for three minutes. If you begin to daydream, let's try and do that exercise where we listen through the right ear. Pick a sound and just really focus on that sound for three minutes.
to come out of the pose. Remember, don't let your head look left or right. But just bend your knees, bring your hands down near your hips. And with the help of your hands and forearms, just sit up. Remove your lump. And let's lay down on our mats, knees are bent, feet behind the buttocks. Arms are extended out. Let's do a nice spinal twist here. Using the pelvic tilt to float the knees over the hips. Everyone, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, tilt. Knees are over hips. As you exhale again, go ahead, knees fall right, and you look left. And let's hold here. And then all together to the other side, take a breath in, exhale, contract, tilt, let's float to center and continue to the opposite side. And coming out of the pose all together, take a breath in, exhale, contract, feel the tilt, float to center. Inhale, hands to knees, exhale, knees, chest. Relax here, doing our best to lengthen the spine onto the mat. Widening the shoulders down the mat, keeping our chin in a neutral position. Slow, deep breaths for four. Three, two, and one. Using that pelvic tilt for stability, let's lift our chin or forehead towards the knees. So all together, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, tilt. Now up, roll up into a little ball. Relax the shoulders away from your ears. Let's hold here. And if it's comfortable to keep your shoulders and head off the mat, let's come into happy baby pose. Bring your hands inside your knees, grab your big toes, flex the ankles, and then open up into happy baby pose. So you're looking right through the middle of your body. If it feels good, go ahead and lower the head down to the mat. Or stay up. If you would like to stay up, really tuck the chin so you get a nice little length of knee through the back of the neck. Let's hold here for four, 
three, two, one. Exhale, straighten those knees. Nice, beautiful straddle here. Let's relax our head down to the mat if you haven't done it already. Hold here, four, three, two, one. Exhale, draw the legs together. They're still pointing up towards the sky. See if we can keep a hold of those toes or maybe we have to switch our grip to the thighs or calves. It's all good. Let's hold here. Four, three, two, one. Lifting our forehead towards the knees and the knees towards the forehead. On an exhale, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, toe in. Now, let's see. This great leg, lifting the head, bringing the feet towards the head. Hold here. Four, three, two, one. As you exhale, release the head, bend the knees, and then gently extend both legs down the mat. Release the hands to the mat, palms up for Savasana. And then to come out of our savasana today, let's take note of our breath first. Perhaps put a hand on your belly or rib cage and just observe the rhythm of your breath. Perhaps observe the thoughts and emotions you're feeling right now. No judgment, just sort of watch them flow by. And then let's gently bring movement to the toes and fingers, wrists and ankles, knees and elbows, hips and spine, shoulders, letting the head roll gently from side to side. And then all together, let's roll over onto our right hand side. 
And then stay here for a few delicious moments. With the support of your hands as you exhale, rise up. And come into a seated position once more. Hands on the chin, with your eyes closed. All together, inhale, hands to heart center, sharing the prana for one time. Take a breath in. Oh, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Exhale and let's bow down to the teacher within. And inhale, come up. Gently open the eyes. Eyes open, full awareness. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.